afternoon good afternoon welcome back to stampin time out with leone for 2020 um, i'm just updating my page here so i can see your comments when they come up so if you're here please say hello um, there it is there I even remember to mute my computer before i open that up so if you are here please say hello we'd love to um see that some people are joining me rather than um sitting here by myself talking to myself look Lee's here thank you okay so um news news i did show this ooh, did you I did put a post up yesterday. I'm just getting the flyers out now. And of course they're sitting underneath my big shop. Okay. So starting yesterday is the coordination product release. So this is the little flyer here. It's going to look back the front on the camera. Sorry about that. Um, there's a group of, I think it's six new products. So there's one, two, three, four, five sets of dies plus a pattern paper. I should get the pattern paper out. I'll get that for you in a moment. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for joining me. So it's all products to coordinate with existing products in the mini catalogue and some celebration items as well. So you've got dies for the happy birthday stamp set, the celebration set. Um, and for the little ladybug, there's dies for that as well. There's a new set of dies called Sending Flowers, which is really, really pretty. Um, and then there's two for, to coordinate with stamp sets from the mini catalogue, being the um, Special Someone stamp set and the Nature's Thoughts. So really, really good dies to have. It saves you from cutting out a lot of things. Let me just grab a packet of the paper. Now, I was saying the other day, I said, oh, it's 6 by 6 paper, but it was a nice surprise when I opened the box when it arrived, if I can open the pack of the paper. Um, when it arrived, it's actually 12 by 12, so that's a nice surprise. So, yes. All right, so this is the papers, all right? So this, this sheet here, that one coordinates with the umbrella punch. On that one's so are really really pretty nice little um, flowers and pieces that you could just sort of snip out as well if you wanted to so that goes with that one so I think there is it looks like there's three sheets of each design and 12 sheets in the pack so we've got some hearts to go with the new heart punch which is part of the I think it's called from my heart bundle one, two, three of those. Okay, and then we've got this sweet little flower, which is the new flower punch in the celebration catalogue. Now, I did get that. Oh, it's there. You, I'd have to go too close to the camera to get it down. So it fits this little flower here. So really, really pretty on that one. I would look up in my celebration catalogue, but I don't have any left. Everybody's wanting them. And this one, look at that tulips. How nice is that going to be? Alright, so you've got the tulip punch, which I just happened to have because we used that this morning to make a couple of cards. This guy here, so you've got the tulip flower plus the leaf. So you'll be able to punch out both of those. Okay, so they are the papers. Now I'll just show you, because as you know, paper has two sides you the opposite side so on the back of your umbrellas you've got raindrops of course you have that looks like it's in balmy blue and then we have what's this paper on the back of your heart you've got a pink gingham then on the back of the flowers you have these pretty stripes love those colors nice and fresh and springy shame we didn't get spring here we only got summer and a nice sort of distressed green diagonal stripe on there as well 
Alright, so they are the papers in the coordination pack, co coordinating with punches. Um, and that pack, I believe, is $20 a packet. If I can find it. Yes, $20 for 12 sheets of the pattern paper to coordinate with your punches. It's a great deal. Okay, so especially if you've got the punches from Celebration and everything like that. So I'm not going to even attempt to put that back in the plastic bag because it will not end well. It will not end well. The papers are so pretty. They have all my pretty favourite colours in there, Elizabeth. I couldn't agree with you more. All right. Um, there's a new release of Celebration products coming to you on the 3rd of March. Um, if you are a demonstrator, you can pre-order those now. If you're not a demonstrator and you want to get them now, you don't want to wait till March, you can join my team. I've put the link up the top there to join. And you can actually pre-order some of those products in your kit. So you will have to pay money for them, whereas in from March you can earn them for free with an order. But if that is something that you want to do, if you want to get them now, then contact me and I will talk to you about joining up and if you are still keen to go ahead I will show you I showed you a couple of the products so there's a couple of samples on the front of the catalog that I put up earlier plus I did a little sneak peek there's a, um, a cup set and it's a reversible like the um, cups from the holiday catalog and it's got little flowers in it that will coordinate with that little punch, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Don't quote me. But um, it coordinates with the cup dies that we've got. So you'll need that. You'll need that. So there's that one. Um, there's a couple of others. There's a, um, a stamp set in there for um, making mail cards. So it's got like an umbrella, hat, shoes, tie and something else that I can't remember right now but um, good for mail themed cards and there's a nice little one with labels in the stamp set as well that I think might coordinate coordinate either with a die set or with the, um, the punches those label punches that are in the mini catalog so you won't want to miss out on those if you haven't already held a party contact me and um, we'll get one booked in for March for you and um, so you can earn some of those sweet products um, and your friends can earn them as well all during March everything will be available while stocks last from celebration all right and the product coordination release that goes to the end of March as well so you can choose from that so that's pretty cool all right the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was I put up yesterday about the honeybee fundraiser that I am doing now I did have a flyer for that I did have a flight that could be under the big shot as well let me have a look here nope not that what's that maybe it's still out on the table who knows could be anywhere could be anywhere anyway the flyer is the same as the um, picture that I put up yesterday so um, have a look at that when you come along for the day we are raising funds to help repopulate and help re-establish the bee colonies on Kangaroo Island. They are detrimental to um, the survival of the bees. There was a couple of bees there that, um, a couple of type of bee, I can't even think of the, the name that I'm looking for, that were just on Kangaroo Island. See, I can't even, I can't even work out the words anymore. And, um, their populations have gone down so if the queens are gone those um, breed of bees are gone as well so we're trying to get them back up and being kangaroo island it's a, a pristine island I don't know what you call it but you have to go through like quarantine and do all these things before you can actually tread on the island over there because there's so many um, natural conservation places things happening over there so as part of the bee fundraiser I'm trying to get my words out they're not coming okay um you will get the stamp set all right now there's options also if when you register for the day you register for the day and it's eighty dollars for the day and that includes afternoon tea your stamp set all the projects lots of fun games prizes all sorts of things raffles and everything's going to be happening all in four hours it's going to be full on but anyway um bring a friend 
bring two friends bring three friends whatever you want so you all just register now if you want to get the dies as well so in as part of your registration cost includes the stamp set but it doesn't include the dies okay so if you want the dies and now these are the dies here you are going to need these dies check them out so you've got the honeycomb there you've got the little beehive you've got a big bee you've got a bee outline you've got the one for the little bee there and the flowers that are in the stamp set and there's a couple of little hearts in there as well Whew, look at that who knew well we didn't know those hearts were in there but they're in there a couple of little heart dies so that's the bee stamp set that you'll get so if you want the dies as well there is an add-on option to add the dies as part of your day and they will be included in your little bag when you arrive and there is an extra charge on that it's not the full cost of the die pack I've actually reduced that a little bit for you so I can so once you've paid for your thing I can then order your bundle and have it all together for you um, there's also another option if you don't have a standard toolkit there is one of those as well so it just includes snips what did I put in there snips bone folder um, some adhesive so the Tombow glue dimensionals glue dots plus you'll also get there'll be a, a ruler a pencil and an eraser as well in your little kit so it might even come in a little special box so that you can take it to your classes and stuff like that so that's something that you might like to um, have a look at so the link is further down I just posted it I'm sure I posted it yesterday for you so you'll be able to go in and see all the details for that as well I focus on sorting oh. glad to be of service Lynn so when because I've been such a good help for you today when you finish yours you can come and do mine sweet okay so I'm going to show you some of the projects that we've done in the last couple of weeks since I've got back from dad so um, I will show you those and then we'll get on to making a card we're going to make a card with the painted poppies now I've got a special offer for the painted poppies today too if you purchase just the stamp set today um, I'll extend that to Friday I'll extend it to Monday I'm so nice I'll extend it to Monday so purchase just the stamp set and you'll get two free tutorials if you purchase the bundle then you'll get four tutorials and a thank you gift from me so um, that's something to keep in mind as well so um, I will do that but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the cards because you don't want to see the cards back the front or anything like that that we've been making lately and um, we will go from there okay won't be a second and I've got it around the wrong way sorry guys oh. I just means you can't see until I take my hand away that's okay oh. Oh, maybe oh May is watching with us today thank you for joining us okay now I need to just adjust the angle a little bit okay there we go I think that's a bit better Hopefully it won't fall down and I'll chuck the how's that? Is that okay for lighting? Can you see it okay? I'm trying not to make it too um, bright. Too glary. Excuse me. Too glary for you. That's it. Looks alright on my computer, so hopefully you guys can see it okay as well. So, first of all, I will show you the cards that we've been making. Now, I've already put the tulips away that we did this morning, so I'll grab those out for you. These are the cards that we made last week for the Wednesday class. Now, these are done with the My Meadow stamp set, which is in the mini catalogue. So, it's another, like, build a scene stamp set, like the... Um, snow front waterfront that sort of thing and they all coordinate perfectly together so we made those ones last week they were fairly quick and easy to do okay um we might make one of those next week in the um facebook live 
Okay, so that's with the ones with my meadow. All right, let me see if I can grab the cards out from today without everything collapsing. I made that one. Oh, no, it's all going to fall to pieces. All going to fall to pieces. I'll just grab the short cards that we have done. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, one of them's missing. Don't know what's happened to it. Yep, that'll just fall down. Let's see, are they under here? No. There, not there. It must be in the other room still. I don't know. I don't know where they are. So I'll just show you some tulip cards that we've done. All right, so this is this is one of the ones that we did today. Happy, happy everything. Um, oh no, here it is. It was hiding. I was looking for a green background, but it's actually purple. And that's the other one that we did this morning. All right, this one, I forgot to take the girls to do it, but we did the flicky background, and I'll show you how we did that flicky background on the card that we're going to do today. Um, and they are the two that they made this morning. This one's actually got Wink of Stella on the tulip, so it, it shimmers when you move it. All right, a couple of the other card, tulip cards that I've done. This one... this one and this sweet one was from my um from a launch i think or it could have even been one of the um wednesday classes that we did so that's that one there then a couple of weeks ago we did the peaceful moments class all right so i've got this one just using designer series paper on the background then we cut out a frame and put a banner on there quick and easy to do added some of the peacock sequins on that one quick and easy i love it okay this one here i've got the black card base plus i've used the um the script i can't remember what the script embossing folder is called just to give the background a bit of a lift so it doesn't look so plain and um pattern paper the dies cut out and then just the um moment stamp which is a pretty pretty stamp that one and then this one here i just used the outline dies to cut out flowers from the designer series paper i mean, just sort of position them so it sort of has like the base at the bottom there like that or the flower in the middle i just wanted to show the girls another way to get some use out of the paper and the dies together this little piece here is out of the die pack as well so pretty all right with the leaves here i got this um idea from patty bennett they're actually both cut out of the same color the granny apple green but the top layer i use my blends to color yeah that layer there so it gives you the two tones so you only need one color of cardstock if you've got the blends there or even you could even sponge with an ink pad and stuff like that so lots of um ways to get more colors with your cardstocks or if you've got limited um supplies another way of doing that and then this one here is just in the pretty peacock with the pool party and then the black centers nice little sentiment and that lovely swirly dye there and then just some of the um sequins again from the peacock pack i love that pack of sequins right so they're so pretty so sparkly so that was with the peaceful moments and they are the dies that you get with that so you've got all the like the flower outlines and then the other bits to layer with and stuff as well so that is that one there and that's got all those awesome sentiments in there then on the weekend we had the um painted poppies class all right so i've done this one here this is just this stamp stamped twice and then very quickly and watercolored with um an aqua painter on there and then i just sponged around the top just to give it um a little bit more depth in the card and just so it's not just so, just so stark white when it's paint popped onto the black layer there oh look my stalkers here hi nick <laughs> all right this is one that i made when i was actually down at dad's and um had limited supplies <laughs> so and yeah so that was one that i made down there and we made this one again on the weekend and the girls liked it i haven't actually put 
um, dimension, not dimensionals, what are they? Rhinestones. I think I put the um, enamel dots on this one as well. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I just have to finish that one off. Here's another one. Just um, memento and then stamping with the, um, the background piece. And then I've just used the splotchy stamps to colour the leaves and also just to do the background a little bit. And then I've used those gorgeous, check those champagne rhinestones out. They are so pretty. So, so pretty. And I just used a couple of ribbons because I used the, um, that's real red, just stamped off a couple of times. So it gives it that nice light blush colour. And I just used the um, gold rimmed, I think that's petal pink ribbon. And then I just added that extra piece of gold. Now these, that gold is still available. So the Christmas time suite is still available if you want to get products from that while you can. Okay, now this one. I really like this card. I love how it comes out. This has got a little bit of frugal crafting in it. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I'll show you how to get that nice design and everything like that. And what happens when you use the dies that aren't quite the size of our card fronts as well. How to get around that. So this is the card I'm going to make today. So I need to get out that stamp. That stamp. I think that's the only stamps I need out of there. And I'm going to get... Thank you... But I think, no, I'll still do the thank you because that's the size I need it for. So that's the size that I've cut for my panel because I'm not sure that the happy birthday will fit on there. No, it won't. Okay, so that's the stamp sets that I'm using. That's the mini catalog that we all love. So just these three little stamps here. I'll get my blocks out. okay so they're the three stamps that I need I've got the two colored ink pads that I need it's espresso and calypso coral plus I'm going to use show you how to do the flicking on the background with the marker as well so to start off with I am going to stamp my sentiment on my little piece here hopefully I can stamp it straight so I hope you all had this is like my first Facebook live this year had a lovely Christmas and New Year and the kids are now back to school or well, little kids and middle sized kids my big kids aren't back yet so just a sweet little thank you on there we never say thank you enough I'm going to leave that open because I need that for the ad. now this is just a piece a quarter piece of um, oh, it's maybe a little bit smaller than a quarter piece so it's just I think I did 10 by 14.4 down there and all I'm going to do on here is I'm going to stamp four flowers I'm going to move this over to the side so it's not right down the bottom for you I'll get rid of that. I don't know how that came out okay so so just one here now I'm not going right to the edge because I'm actually going to cut this out a little bit and as you do your stamping what you can also do is you can turn your flower around so it's sort of It's not all the same sort of way. Okay. All right. That's all I need that stamp for. All right. Now I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral. Now I can't remember whether I stamped off or not. So I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper. 
to unkick this pristine because I'm running out of them. <laughs> right, so what I do is I just grab a scrap piece of paper and see. No, I don't think I did stamp off. All right, so I'm just going to stamp over the top of my flowers. Now it's going to be irregular. It's not going to be perfect or anything like that, but I'll show you how you can add extra color. And fill in the blank areas. Okay, so quick and easy. This card is so quick and easy. It's so good. So where you've got your blank areas, you can just go back over. doesn't matter if you go out the edge because it's sort of like an abstract sort of painting or watercolour -y sort of thing they're never perfect okay colouring with stamps you've got to love it all right I've done that that can go away so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do some flicking on the back I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't want it on my thank you all right so what I'm going to do is you just grab the brush tip all right, and then you just sort of put it halfway in the lid and then just flick it out. So, that's not really showing very much. Well, there's a few, spark, few bits going on there now. Now, something else that you can do as well if you're not getting much happening coming out of there I think probably because the girls all used it on the weekend um, you can always dip that into some re and do it and then you'll get more splops on there it's coming out a bit more now You don't want it too dark, you just want it to give it a little bit of texture, a little bit more interest. It gives it a little bit more depth so you're not sort of dealing with just a, a plain white. So you can see that a little bit on there. It's like this one's a little bit darker that you can see. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my dies. No, I did have them out. Here they are here. All right, so I'm going to bring in my stitched rectangle dies. All right, I'm going to cut that one out of there, and then I need this one. That goes in the middle there, and this one right in the middle, I'm going to cut out for my thank you to go on to. Now I've got a piece, this is just a scrap piece of espresso as well. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to cut this down to six centimeters by 9.4. So I'm going to bring in my handy dandy little mini chopper, which is what you get when you join Stampin' Up. All right, so six centimeters by 9.4. Now, just bear with me, girls, and I will tell you what that is in inches because it's so very nice of Stampin' Up to have put the inches on here as well. So, six centimeters is two and a half. No, that might be two and a half there. Hang on, two, one, two, three, four. Two and six eighths. No. Hang on. One, two, two and three eighths. Two and three eighths of an inch by nine point four is. My oh gosh, really, Leone, you could have done that a bit better. <laughs> is three one half. It's the notch before three and three quarters. All right, so um, yeah, so it's just the notch before there. 
is 9.4 or you can cut this out and then you can just sort of pop this down stick it onto your piece of card and then just trim it down that way as well so that's a little mini cutter I love that thing so I'm just going to bring the big shot in to cut these pieces down now oh hang on now what's don't know that that will that may not fit but my frugal tip is what you do is because you're going to stick a piece of pattern on top of that I'm just going to cut that out of there because you're not going to see the gap all right so let's just cut this guy out Right, so you'll end up when you do things like this you'll end up making your cardstock go further so it's being nice and frugal all right then this piece here that we've stamped all right we're just going to layer our two frames just pull that up just a wee bit okay and then this piece in the middle doesn't have to be exactly in the middle can be over to the side a smidge again you're being frugal you're not having to stamp up two different pieces of images we are just stamping one just trying to get that straight I think that's straight bring in your mat you're very well used cutting mat put that back through oh, there we go and then you have your pieces for the front of your card and put this big shot back okay so <clears throat> That outside piece you can just discard we're not going to need that so this inside piece here will get stuck straight down to the card base this piece here will get stuck onto that layer see you can't even tell there's a section missing out of the back and this piece here will fit inside your stitched area okay so just using Tombow don't need a lot this stuff is super sticky and we like using it because it gives you wiggle time so if it goes on crooked like that you've got time to straighten it up because it's glue there we go And because you've cut this piece bigger than this section, it's going to cover over that gap there. So you've got like the um, the triple time, or I think this one's called double time. Because you've done two layers, this one will be called double time. Okay, perfect. So I've got my espresso card base here. I'll just move those out of the way. Line those two up together. Use your bone folder to give it a nice crisp fold. Now this one here you are going to stick straight down. Now because those dies are designed to fit on the US card sizes, it's going to be too long. Like, I mean the card base will be too long this one won't be actually big enough so what I do is I stick this right down I just give myself a nice border around the top the two sides and the top and then I will trim this up with the mini cutter again so I'm just going to stick that straight down just a little bit extra there Make sure I'm putting it up the right way. 
then same border top and the two sides so what you could actually do you could just put your card together like so and then have your sentiment down the bottom if you wanted to like down there but I want it over there so I'm just going to take this and then just pop both sections over line it up buffer it against the top so you know it's straight hopefully I'll have the same border across the bottom as I do across the top and because you've got two there just give it a nice chop down being a guillotine that's easy see and then your card looks perfect All right now when I put this on I'm going to put it around the right way hey, hey okay I'm going to use dimensionals now I'm going to use the black dimensionals which are still available because I forget I have them and then they will sort of go in here and then they won't sort of show in between the layers either as well so I'm just going to put them in the void across here like that in there early espresso it's all early espresso and white there I've only used two different card colors Elizabeth all right so the card base is espresso and this piece here that I cut down was espresso so and that's the espresso from there as well so that just gets layered over the top of there that, I'm just going to stick this one straight down you'll find too if you live in a like a humid climate like we do here in Sydney um, your card layers will say stuck sometimes when it gets really humid the um, using the snail it tends to that looks crooked how does that look crooked oh my gosh it does look crooked doesn't it let me just lift that up just have to straighten that up how did that happen I must have my crooked eyes on today because oh, I think I might have cut it crooked a little bit that's better and I just need to pull that piece out of there I should have some you can't have a crooked card can you there we go just pull that out with some tweezers a bit like a splinter really and I'm just going to stick that just there like that so I'm just going to put a dimensional behind here and I'll put glue behind this side so then it still stays straight and doesn't sag or anything like that so or flap around in the breeze as someone says okay so you can put it down actually you know what I might put it down a little bit further just pop that there like that now on this card here I had well I've still got a little gap down there but I had the flower was higher so I had like the the area down here so I just put three little pearls down there wherever they got the gap but I'm going to put my three little pearls up here this time right. if you need containers or anything like that to keep your embellishments and stuff in I highly recommend our little cases you can use like the um, this size as you can see this is what I keep my dies in I just get the sheets of magnet there and they're nice and neat and sometimes I keep them in the case with the stamp sets as well so that's a storage tip for you there you go Lynn you can do that now you can convert everything over now these work perfectly now your pearls and stuff will come in a sheet 
too big to fit in that case but I just cut them in half and then I've got two sheets <laughs> so I pop you can fit heaps in here look you will see you can fit heaps in here all right so I've got some of the old faceted gems uh, faceted rhinestones there metallic pearls some adhesive back sequins whole heap of stuff they're the ones that I'm going to put on the little Oh, maybe I don't have any little pearls left. Oh, look at that. I've got three different sized ones there. I might just pop them. Those three. One big one, two little ones. Perfect. Now, I'll get my take your pick tool. Now, I always see people struggling with pearls and things like that. If you pick them up with your fingernails, sometimes they come away from the glue dot or the adhesive that they use on them so you really need to use something to get in underneath that adhesive Oop, that's crooked so that you don't leave the adhesive behind because you don't want to waste any of these guys All right, so if you use your take your pick tool or the tip of your scissors whatever it is that you want to do there we go how's that pretty and then these are all kept together and then when I go to a class or or I'm doing some crafting and stuff like that and I want to add some some embellishments I've got my little case here and I can just grab that so it doesn't matter what embellishments I want to use because most of them are all in there so I'll put my take your pick tool away so that is today's card super quick super easy to do and you know you can Move your sentiment around. You could even do it this way and have it just going across that way if you wanted to. If you wanted to do a longer one or something, you can pop your pearls wherever you want to. There's no right or wrong place to pop them down. So that is about it from me today. If anyone has any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Again, if you aren't a demonstrator and you want to get in on those new. Um, celebration items be sure to message me and we'll have a chat about being a demonstrator and the benefits to you I'm about to go out this afternoon to speak to somebody um, who rang yesterday and she said oh I've just found the Stampin' Up products how do I buy them yada 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 and then she goes oh I've got so many things I want to get I went, well maybe you should um, get the starter kit and then um, you can get the discount as well. So that's what I'm going out to do this afternoon is to go out and talk to her about that. So they are today's little cards. I do hope you like them. Thanks Janelle and thank you for joining me. Um, if you would like to share this video, I would much appreciate it. You know, you might, well obviously if you're watching it, you've got to have some crafty friends and your friends might even have some crafty friends that might like to see some projects like this as well. So um, share the video, like my business page, and if you're interested in going to the fundraiser, it's on the 21st of March, um, and it's at the Campbelltown Art Gallery. So shoot me a message, and I will send you the link where you can go and register for that as well. And I may even have the tutorials available from that event for sale so that we can help raise some extra funds for the um, the beekeepers of Kangaroo Island. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and I hope to see you again here next week at 2pm. Thanks for joining me. Bye.